Hey everybody, it's uh, week three in the books for uh, Saxenda here, so I wanted to provide a quick update as to how things are going for me. Uh, I am currently up to the 2.4 milligram dose. I am on my second pen, and uh, I'm just about to finish completing this pen. Just actually asked for a refill subscription from my doctor today. I definitely should have done that much sooner, though, having that uh, I've got about one or two doses left in here. Um, so I plan to go pick that up tomorrow. But uh, very quickly here on the side effect front, uh, I still have not succumbed to any of the noted side effects uh, listed for this particular medication. Um, the only thing really that I have is uh, occasional bruising at the site injection, um, which for me is in the uh, stomach area. And <clears throat> that's mostly been it. Um, so um, I've been pretty lucky there, I guess, uh, in comparison to what others seem to experience with this from the nausea front in particular. Um, and I think last time in my video, I reported maybe having an occasional headache, uh, but nothing that was not manageable uh, by any means. So um, I think that's gotten better for me uh, over time, and uh, we'll see how things continue to go um, as it relates to that. Um, again, I'm going Saturday to Saturday. Um, in my injections. So starting today is Monday and uh, this Saturday I'll, I'll be upping my dose to the final 3.0 uh, milligram dose. So I'm looking forward to that. Um, <clears throat> and here we'll get into the numbers shortly on how much uh, weight I have lost uh, since taking Saxenda. Uh, but at this rate, my hunger has remained rather steady where I still don't think about wanting to eat after dinner. Um, and to me, that still is my favorite part of this medication. Um, I just simply don't think about wanting to eat anything after I've had dinner. So it makes it very easy uh, to not give in to any cravings or wanting just to satisfy hunger in the evening by finding something in the pantry to snack on. So, um, the medication has been very effective in that regard. Um, I continue to wake up ready to eat breakfast every morning. Uh, I don't feel like I'm starving though, even though I haven't eaten anything since dinner the night before. And with that, you know, I, I've been keeping my breakfast choice rather simple. Um, I consistently eat oatmeal every morning. Um, I do a half a, a half a cup of rolled oats with about a cup of milk. Um, and then I'll, I'll throw in some brown sugar, cinnamon, and about a half a banana, and then a small handful of pecans. And eat that every morning for breakfast, and that lasts me until lunch. Uh, I'll work through the whole morning. Um, from about 8 o'clock till around 11, sometimes noon, and um, I'll break for lunch. You know, I'll um, have the fortunate ability to work from home, so <clears throat> I can go into the kitchen and um, either eat some leftovers from dinner the night before, or I'll just make a nice healthy salad with some greens uh, vegetables like uh, cucumber, maybe some broccoli mixed in there, pumpkin seeds, and um, <clears throat> I'm not starving by lunchtime, but I am hungry enough to want to eat something. So, um, you know, I'm not forcing myself to eat, I would say. And I have noticed eating less uh, as in, in the uh, lunchtime hour uh, because I am getting fuller faster. Um, I don't need to eat as much, so I am keeping my portions in control, and uh, that's been a really nice aspect of this medication as well, is that <clears throat> I don't feel like grabbing seconds or, uh, you know, continuing to reach my hand into a bag of pretzels and dipping it into some hummus or something like that. Um, so it really helps 
um, keep your calorie counts in check as a result of that. And just like breakfast, you know, lunch for me, uh, it carries me over until dinner time. Um, you know, I'll get back to work and I'll, I'll work until about 4 or 5 p.m. or so. Uh, and then uh, get out into the kitchen and either help make dinner. Sometimes I'll make dinner or, you know, my wife will make dinner and it'll be time to eat. And um, I'll have my dinner. And uh, I don't think I've gone for seconds once. Uh, since taking this medication. So once again, portion control is made much easier um, by virtue of this medication. So snacking has largely disappeared uh, from my daily altogether. Um, I just simply don't think about wanting to snack. Um, I just don't feel hungry enough to want to wanna think about eating snacks. And I think all of these things uh, coupled together have just resulted in losing some weight for me. Uh, you know, I've been weighing myself uh, every day here for the last few days. I've been weighing myself more often than once a week because this is what the Noom app recommends. And as a reminder, my Saxenda prescription came with a 12-month uh, subscription to Noom. And that app uh, actually recommends that uh, you weigh yourself daily, uh, which I found interesting because I just had a check-in with my doctor here last week, and uh, she recommended not weighing myself daily, but instead uh, on a weekly basis, which is something that I uh, had preferred to do because I felt by doing so, uh, I would see a more noticeable variation in uh, my weight numbers and uh, didn't want to see the daily number and serve, have that serve as discouragement uh, towards the objective. But uh, with news recommendation in weighing yourself every day, you know, their point is that your weight will fluctuate and I think they want uh, folks to get used to that and understand that that's just part of the journey. And uh, I could see exactly what they were saying because I've had some fluctuations there um, on my daily weigh-ins when I was doing that. But I think more importantly, uh, I like to look at other points of measure instead of the scale. And that is, you know, how I'm feeling and also how my clothes are fitting. Um, you know, those are very tangible things. Um, and as long as those are in check, i.e., I feel great. Uh, so that's enough reason in itself to stay motivated. And secondly, when you notice that you can take your belt down an additional notch or that your pants are fitting a bit looser, uh, then you know you're on the right track. And uh, those are some things to feel very good about and uh, serve as a great motivator uh, to continuing um, with the program. With that said, you know, one thing that I'm not doing enough of is exercising. Uh, you know, having a busy lifestyle, working full time, having three children and needing to get them to their extracurricular activities after school. Um, there's a lot going on there. And uh, it's something that I need to evaluate for myself. I need to take a close look at my schedule or I just need to kick myself into gear in the evening hours after things have settled down in the house and get myself to the gym and just power through, you know, feeling sleepy by the end of the day. Um, I, I feel that if I did do that, um, my body would adjust, uh, perhaps even maybe bring my energy levels up a bit. So that's something that I hope to start looking into here very soon. Uh, and getting into the gym a little bit more frequently. Uh, since starting Saxenda, I probably have averaged about two days a week in the gym. And usually that's on the weekends when I get those workouts in, you know, doing some cardio and maybe some light weight lifting. But um, either way, the weight is still coming down. And let's get into the numbers here. Um, 
I've been on Saxena now for 23 days and am down eight pounds, um, weighing in at around 206. Um, I don't know the last time I was down to 206. It's been a while, so uh, I'm pretty excited about that. And, um, you know, I'm happy to see uh, continued momentum uh, on the downward swing and as far as my weight goes. So um, I am looking forward to getting my dosage up to the 3.0 level. And uh, that starts this Saturday. And then we'll be checking in next week to see how things are going. So if you are getting ready to start Saxenda and you have any questions about my experience that I wasn't able to answer here, uh, please drop a comment below and I'll do my best to answer your question for you. Um, if you are using Saxenda and you just came across my video, uh, drop a comment. Let me know how it's going for you, how long you've been on it. Um, and the success you've had with it, and maybe some of the challenges as well. Uh, so thank you everybody for watching. Um, I'd appreciate it if you uh, gave it a thumbs up, if you enjoyed watching this video, and um, hit that subscribe button if you would like to continue seeing um, updates on my Saxenda journey. All right, thanks for watching.